I could say that my vocation woke up when I was a child. It was then especially when I was concerned with chemical experimentation. That is how colorful it became as transformations happened by matter and changes to, took place, etc. I think that this encouraged me to find out what was behind, which was the base, and, and maybe my interest in science comes from here. Our work would seem uh, conventional work with computers, but I would say that what we do with those computers, in fact, is developing programs, not using them. Not using someone else's programs, but developing our own programs that supplement those advances. That knowledge that we develop within the group. The look of the group, maybe of people working, people facing keyboards, computers, etc. And of course, we also have a part of experimental work. And in that sense, the laboratory working appearance is that of the typical chemical work of a research laboratory. Macromolecules are, as its own name points out, chemical species of a big size. They're not differentiated from normal molecules because they simply have a special constitution and that defines several properties. But there are others that have to do with a lot of uh, their big size, big size in terms of molecular weight or even geometric size. And we're mainly interested in that kind of characteristics. This is a group of a medium size, not very numerous, but I can feel really satisfied because it is a productive group. We could say that the productivity per capita of my group is high. And I am also satisfied because it is a group where young people are very much encouraged. And a proof of this is that most people training my group have gone on after their degree courses. Being at university, it is the university world that generates knowledge and transfers it to students as fair receivers of that transference. We develop tools, uh, on the one hand, that have certain applications. I mean, computed tools that I was speaking before. And then, in the experimental line, we do some things with a practical utility, mainly in questions related to the viscosity and fluidity of macromolecular compounds. And in that sense, uh, we do have contacts with some companies of that sector, mainly in the cosmetic sector and the plastic sector. The acknowledgement of germ of the Seneca organization in this special call has meant that acknowledgement of the work which we have been developing for a long time and implies somehow being a prophet in one's own land. When I have had the opportunity of checking that some of the things we were doing had some interest or repercussion out of my near environment, then I thought that we should have that in my nearest environment. And actually nowadays, with the help of our organization obviously, I have received that acknowledgement, of which I'm very proud. It makes scientists' activities be better known and better estimated by society. By means of that kind of enterprises of showing people what scientists do, and the fact that we appear with our faces and our normal lives inside our offices, labs, etc. Well, that is a very positive idea. Developing a scientific activity, for my satisfaction, to create science is to create. It is to make a creation, which can be perfectly compared to the artistic creation that can be made uh, by a writer, can be made by a painter. And so, getting these abstract intellectual developments, I mean, in science, not in art, is a creative activity that I find very satisfying.